Okay, hello everyone. This is part 6 of Rhythm Paradise Mega Mix, and if you're hearing any noise, which I don't think you really will be hearing, but who knows, maybe there is going to be random noises. Uh, again, I'm recording all these in bulk, and uh, right now I'm in a different location. And uh, so yeah, please expect random noises to come on. And hopefully they won't, but uh, just, uh, just a fair warning, they may happen. So, in this part, I'm going to be doing row 6, which is the final world map kind of row with four games in it. You'll see what I mean in part 7 when that happens. Let's go. So, um... This character is weird, I'm not sure what their name is, but basically, um, the story is that this character alternates between a very, very sing-song kind of voice and a very authoritative, uh, deep, booming voice at will, and the writing style also changes, yep, like that. Sometimes you can hear it go boop boop boop, like really, really low pitched. And it has this storyline has something to do with uh, an egg that then is going to turn into a bird. That. So yeah, um, one thing to note with this, uh, this four, these four games is that they are much lower in scores in my document, as if, uh, as in, I haven't really gotten very good scores on them yet. So just expect, uh, maybe I'm actually going to get better scores this time. There's only one way to find out. Come on. There we go. And this row is another one of those rows where the games are normal. In other words, they haven't been remade, they're not easier, they're the actual, real, original games. So we start off with Rhythm Tengoku, and our game for this row is... Awa Karigurahi. Our calligraphy has a tutorial that scrolls by itself. You have two things that you have to do. The first one sounds like this. So when you hear it go, you press A on the next beat. There are noises that happen if you uh, get it wrong, like like that. If you do it, if you don't do it at all, it does this. And then, huh, huh, huh. this is the other one. I need to pay attention to uh, my inputs here. They're not very good. Okay. Um, so you have to pay attention to a bunch of a uh, bunch of different symbols that this hand is writing down. Hence the term calligraphy. And uh, hopefully should work. Let's go. This is the main melody of the track. Builds up a bit. bit more complicated. No, really. This part's where it gets complicated. Because... There. And this part as well. Pay close attention. One. 
and down. Now it changes speed. One, two. I think I did it that much too late. And again, one, two, and finally there's this really slow one, which looks like a face, apparently, and you have to hit that. I think I messed that up pretty badly, I could have done much better. There is an ending, which is cool. And it makes this noise at the end, which is really cool. I got the star and I got the no miss, but I think that's actually like a 90 or an 89 or something. There's only one way to find out. Doesn't tell me. Okay, let's go to the cafe and see what that way. Ninety-three. What? How? Okay, uh, so apparently I thought I did pretty badly, but no, actually I did pretty good. Ninety-three. That actually beat my score because it used to be ninety-two. This next one has a score of 94, and I don't think I'll be able to do very good at it, but uh, we'll see. Now, in a bird-themed land, there have to be bird-themed games, and this one is definitely one of those. What bird-themed game exists in Rhythm Heaven DS? Why, Bluebirds, of course. Now, I need to do this in uh, English. Because I like it much better in English than Japanese. So when you hear it say, Peck your beak, one, two, three. Like that. Uh, it also gives you a tap, like it tells you when you're supposed to do it. You need to follow exactly when it's tapping, or at least try to. There's one more other command that it does. Which sounds like this. You have to hold and let go. Again, it's just A. Stretch out your neck. And again. Okay. I need to pay very close attention to my peck, peck your beaks so that all of them are aligned perfectly, or at least try to be perfect. Let's go. I think I messed that up pretty badly. Am I doing it too early? There we go. Sometimes I'm doing it right. And and finally, yep, those three are the key to the skill star. One thing I don't understand is why they made the quack 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 like just stop and cut off midway instead of fading out like they did with the DS one. It's a little bit weird, but it, it's their choice, not mine. So I did okay. Got the no miss first try, which isn't too bad. I definitely like this in uh, English more than Japanese.
Hey there, bird. Okay. Let's see, what score do I get? 90. Yeah. Um... I'll try one more time, see if I can do a bit better. Because 90 isn't too good. I'm gonna try one more time. There we go, I think it did that much better now. Still late. Or sometimes early, I can't really tell. Ooh. I, uh, some of, one of, one of those stretch out my necks were a bit too early. Don't get me wrong, I still get the hits, I mean, I didn't fail, I didn't mess up terribly, but it still counts towards the score. I got a better score, but I don't think it was by much, it was like a 91, 92. Let's find out. It doesn't tell me. I have to go back to the cafe and check it that way. 93, okay. Not too bad. Okay, our next game has 93 as the score, and this one I don't think... I'm not sure if I ever want to do twice. Doing it once enough is, is hard enough. Because... What other bird-themed game that you think of? One that's in Fever. I'm gonna let you take a moment to guess, for those who've played. Well, your time's up. Let's play it. It's Flockstep time. We're gonna see Lockstep from DS sometime much later, but Flockstep is here. And what's a little bit hard about Flock Step is the fact that you have to tap constantly. Two, one, two, three, four. Like that. Now, now there's another cue that may happen that will interrupt your tapping where you have to hold and let go of the B button instead of the A button. Two, one, two, three, like this. Hold B and let go. Me or what? One, two. And, uh, yeah. Another thing that I'm a little bit confused about is will I have a bunch of lag? Because I remember playing this with Fever, it constantly kept lagging. I'm not sure if it's gonna lag now. Maybe it will. This music is very futuristic sounding. That bird flying sound is a little bit familiar. Also, as you can tell, there's a sound that happens when you release, not just when you tap. Like the little... That noise. It's very hard to cut talk while I'm playing. I'm gonna shut up now. No lag. Which is actually quite surprising. But this is a very graphically intensive game. Wow. 
watch out. Yes. And again. And then there's that. I don't know what that is. And now I'm just gonna constantly keep tapping. And you're finally done. I have no idea what score I got, but. I don't think I'm gonna get very well, a uh, very good score, because I probably missed. Well, I didn't get uh, no, I didn't get a miss, but I probably still missed a lot of the perfect hits. I'm actually quite surprised that I didn't have to restart that because usually when I talk, I miss something and I actually have to re restart it, or like I missed a skill star or something, but I didn't somehow, which is crazy. I'm curious what score I got. I didn't really pay much attention while I was playing, either. I tried to, but... Let's see. 92! Okay, not too bad. My high score is 93, so... Wasn't too far off. Now, this next one... This has a score of 92, and I don't think it's going to hold that for long because 92 is pretty bad, so I think I'm going to actually be able to do better. This is the new game, and it has nothing to do with birds. Instead, it is... Super Samurai Slice! Another Japanese game. Yay. Well, because this game was made in Japan, of course, uh, they, they had to make more samurai references. And this is one of them. What's interesting about this one is, when you kill enemies, they explode. Which is a little bit weird, because usually they don't explode. But this is some kind of like 8-bit or 16-bit like vi uh, video game interpretation. Now, you press A, like two beats later, Sometimes you have two of them, like that. Like, one, two, A, A. Now there's one more thing that can happen that's a little bit disorientating. Listen very closely to the amount... I'm gonna mess up and... And... You hold B for that entire thing. I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait for it to do the metronome and show you. So, that part is where you hold, yeah, like that, hold, let go. So when you hear the doo doo doo, you wait an extra beat after that last thing and then din 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 din. It's a little bit hard to get used to. It's kind of like Samurai Slice in um, Rhythm Heaven Fever, but not exactly. Also, that sounds very familiar for those who played Tap Trial and Rhythm Tengoku. This music is really weird. I'm gonna try to do my best. There's two of them. Oh, not yet. That noise, I don't know what that means. Just don't pay attention to it. And another big one. Whew, that was close. Now this is where the... This is where it gets hard, because... The 
big one. Round three. And again. Pay attention here. One. One, two. One, two. I just missed one. Great. Pay very close attention to that part. I'm not going to talk anymore. At least try not to. Let's go. Get ready. Okay, let's get it right. And finally... Damn. Thank you. I'm not sure what the story for this one is, unfortunately, so I don't know what the thank you relates to. But, um... It is there, and I finally got it without any misses. Not sure what score I got, but, uh... That's... That's uh, only a few seconds away to figure out... Got the no-miss, got the skill star, got the six coins... I think this is the first, this is going to be the last game that you actually only get six coins for, because next, there's going to be, like, uh, more coins per game. Whoa, that's a huge bird, I think. Okay. World complete. Okay, let's see what the score is. The one going standing up, the one going long. Time. One hundred and fifty four. High score. I can't tell. I'm gonna have to go to the cafe. Oh, it still doesn't tell me. I have to constantly go back into it. 93, yes. Got a better score. Okay. So, um, unfortunately, this is where things get a little bit hard, because we're not done. Unfortunately, we still have a gate to go through. And this gate is annoying. This challenge unfortunately requires me to read the screen or remember things, which I don't remember exactly because I haven't I haven't played this in a while. But I'm gonna have to get through it, so I guess I'm gonna do it. Yes, I'm ready. So this challenge is called Chicken Race. Basically, you have to hold the A button for as long as it tells you to, which I'm not sure exactly how much it is. I think it's 8 beats in the beginning for the tutorial. So you hear this crate noise, that, and then you hold 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, like go. And then it starts moving and slowing down, and hopefully it will that. You need to do that. Now, to make it a little bit easy on myself, I'm actually going to challenge 
saffron instead of paprika because I have no idea what the numbers are. I'm gonna challenge saffron because I have enough coins for it and I'm not gonna spend any more coins on anything anyway, so there's no point. I can also replay games if I want to. So I'll just say challenge saffron, the, the leftmost one. It'll give me, it'll uh, ask me to pay a bunch more coins though, which sounds like this. Sounds like a freeze frame, which you will hear sometime later. Okay, so if everything goes well, it's supposed to tell me what the number is. Also, you can wait for as long as you want here. Okay, so it's eight. Now, the reason why this is very, very... Uh, complicated is if you pick another difficulty maybe sometimes the numbers will get messed up in recognition and you won't be able to tell exactly how much it is which is why I picked easy so I'll do eight one two three four five six seven eight that was a little too early but I think we'll still make it good there's three of them Next... 16, okay. It slows down a bit, uh... Well, slower, because it starts on a higher speed. Okay, last one. Is four. Only four. Hopefully. Yes, it was right. Okay. Now what? Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to count my count the last one myself. So apparently the timer was showing. Okay, it's eight. Let's go. One other thing that it does on the higher difficulties is turn the music down so that you can't hear how much you're counting. It worked. Okay. Maybe, maybe one day I'll get back to this and actually get all the difficulties done, but for now, that was, that was hard enough for me. Gate has been opened, and that is where we're going to end it for today. So, row six, um, Songbird Land, as it's called, has now been completed, and we have two new high scores, although not by much. They were both 92, now they're both 93. Not that big of an improvement, but still an improvement nonetheless. So yeah, um, part six. I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, next time we're going to see a bit of new scenery, a bit of new music, a bit more coins, and a different kind of way of navigating between games. For that, you're going to have to see the next part, so I'll see you then, and hopefully this next part, part 7, will be the final one that I'll be able to, that I'll be recording in bulk, and then after that I'm going to start uploading things live again. So I'll see you next time.